So let's go. Here we go. Everyone, welcome back to the Breslov Efrat. Sorry, we had a little intermission there. Be, uh, but I Baruch Hashem, we're back now. Um, we're in the Kutei Alachis, Hilchis, uh, Tzitzis, Aleph, and with Siyata Deshmaya. We'll understand these very beautiful concepts from the Rebbe today. And uh, let's start. Everyone, you ready? Sasha, Dov, you ready? Good. Okay, here we go. Number one. Yeah. Tzitzis shall tzeme upishtim paitrim bechol mine begadim. If you have tzitzis, if you have tzitzis that's made out of either wool or linen, a flax, right, linen, paitrim bechol mine begadim. They, they, pot, they pot the, in other words, you can have any kind of garment and you put, that's a four-cornered garment, and you put on it either linen tzitzis or you put on it wool tzitzis, and it's part of from the you're allowed, you're allowed, to, you're allowed to wear it. Chutz Michel Tzema or Pishtim or Pishtim le Tzema bezman hazeh the lake atcheles. But now, for example, if you had today a wool garment, right, a wool four garment, cordon garment, and you made linen tzitzis, you can't put that on. It used to be that you could do that because if you had tcheles, if you had tcheles in the strings. It would, it would, it would nullify, it would fix the problem. But today, Bismana said, the lake at Tchelis, because we don't have that, Mishum Klayim, because you can't, you can't have linen, linen and, and, and wool together, that shotness, otherwise known as Klayim, right? You can't have the two, uh, uh, two things together, right? And others say that, that because linen, it is a inferior, it's an inferior, um, uh, 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 material. material. Okay, thank you, thank you. It's an inferior material, therefore we shouldn't make tzitzis out of linen, and that's how we are knowing we don't make tzitzis out of linen. We don't do that. Right? We learned before about Cayenne and Hevel, remember? In last lessons, right? We learned about Cayenne and Hevel. Cayenne brought his, his, uh, present to Hashem when he brought this carbon. What did he do? He brought it from, from uh, from thith, uh, 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 th- uh, thorns and thistles, and he used linen linen uh, um, linen seeds. He didn't even give him linen; he gave him the seeds from linen. Fascinating. <clears throat> and and we said that that is that is really the side the the the, the, the other side. And Kai and Hevel brought from the best. He brought the first, right? He brought the best. We learned a little bit about that. So. Linen, we know, is not a nice thing. We'll learn a little bit more about what linen is, but here we go. So the rabbi starts off, Ayin Ma'amar HaMaskil, Ma'i Choza, the Oza Leheicha, the Lei Mina. So the rabbi says like this, what did, there was, there was a, he has a, he starts off, the a Ma'amar Chazal, that a, a person went to a, a certain place to, to take a wife, and the woman didn't want to go with him. So he went. So what caused him to go to a, to a place, to a place that was greater than the other place? What caused him to go to a place that was greater than that place? In other words, he went to a place, the lady didn't want to go. So then he goes to a greater place to try to find the wife. But what caused him to go to another place? What's greater place? Well, well, well that's... a bigger city? Or uh, we'll like, we're going to see. Okay. We're going to see. We're going to see. The Rebbe is talking about in Lesson 29, it's very important to watch your garments from any kind of stains and any kind of spots. Any kind of stains and spots. Your garment should be clean. Clean. All the times your garments should be clean. But he's going to make a play on these words here. Watch this, Sasha. You're going to see in a minute. Because begadim is malchus. How, how do you understand that begadim is malchus? Because the same way, the same way the mid of malchus is the bottom one, and it encompasses all the other midos, Right? Right, you have the Chabad and you have Chagas. Chesed, Gevur, Tzveres, Netzach, Hoyd, Yisoy, the Malchus. Malchus covers all of them. The same way the garments cover the guf. Right, we have a body and it covers it. The same way we learned about the Mayach, right? The Mayach 
is the garment for the seichel, right? The seichel needs a place to rest. The intellect needs a place to rest. So the mind is the is the vessel, is the kli, the mind is the kli for the seichel to rest, which is like a beged, similar. That's what we said tzitzis was. Remember we learned that? We learned about tzitzis, where you put on the tzitzis, you see the tcheles, the tachles, remember all of that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Malchus. Bechinus melech ha-kovod. Okay. V'azai ha-shechina bechinus madua odoim lilivu shecha. So the Navi Yeshai is saying, why did you, why did you make red? Look, why did you make adom? Why did you make red your garments? What did you do? Bechin is dam nidas. Dam nida. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what does dam nida have to do with garments? What is going on over here? So let me let me fill you in. Let me fill you in. Uh, but first, we're going to read one more line, okay? Vizer bechin is pagama veiras haboyim mishasa gidim. That's the idea of the pagam of the Averis that come from the Shasa Gidim. Let's, let, let's, now we're going to do a little background, okay? How many, how many, uh, um, Loisa says are there in the Torah? 365. 365, right? And 248 positive commandments and, two, and 365 negative commandments, right? Right, right. Now we also have we also have three hundred sixty five gidin. We have blood vessels in our body. Three hundred sixty five. The Rebbe explains that each one of our vessels in our body is 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 connected another one of the loisases. Okay. Now, when a Jew makes a mistake, he doesn't have a chas v'shalom. So what he's doing is he's causing a rupture in one of his blood vessels in regard to the loisase, because each loisase is connected to another one of the 365 blood vessels. So far good? Mm -hmm. So if he makes, he does a loisase, he does something the Torah says not to do, he's, so to say, making a rupture in the blood vessel, which actually causes up on high that the shechina it because it comes a, some so to say a, a, the shechina has a dam nida, so to say this is where it's coming from, where the shechina then is separated from Hakadosh Baruch Hu. The same way we have down here when a woman is a nida, she separates from the husband. The husband and wife separate on high. When 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 a Jew does an avera, he causes the the shechina kedusha. To have a dam nida, causing the rabbi Islam to separate kibyachal from the shechina. Fascinating. You have you anything like this? Listen to this. And that's why when we say when we daven, we say the shame yichud kutcha berichu shchinte b'dechilu urechim. Right? We say we, I want to connect Hakadosh Baruch Hu with the shechina. I want to bring Hakadosh Baruch Hu back with the shechina. Because I may have done something wrong to cause the Shina to separate from Hashem. Separate from Hashem. Yes. Yeah, the Shina separates from Hashem. The same way, David, in this world, when a woman has her mm-hmm. period, she has to separate from her husband mm-hmm. because of the Dam Nida, right? So too, up on high, that's exactly what's happening. Up on high, the Rebbe explains that's what's happening. So now look at the words one more time. Our Avera Yeah, our causes that. Causes that. Look what it says. That's the idea of the Avera that comes from the Shasagidim, from the 365 blood vessels. And if you want to make the repair, what do you do? Lesakin daika tika klali. You'll need the all in the all inclusive, the all inclusive tikkun. Why? Let me explain more. Okay. You know when 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 you make when something gets stained, right? Something gets stained. So sometimes there are nooks and crannies 
that it gets into that you can't clean it, right? Mm-hmm. Right. If, if if something spills on a flat surface, <clears throat> like you just cleaned up over here from the easy. from the Zerushim, right? Okay, easy, easy. it's easy to clean it up, mm-hmm. but but if there were grooves and there were different things in there, it would have been much more complicated. So when we do when we do an avera, we don't understand what's going on, but there are so many nuances within within the avera. We think it's just I did this thing wrong. Is it, that's it. No, there were so many, so many passages and so many different things in there that I don't know how to get to them. I can't get to them. So therefore, the Rebbe explains I need a tikkun aklali. I need something that's all in cons- to cover the entire situation, to cover it, to so to say bomb it. You know, like for example, you know, exterminators sometimes when they have to get, when they have to, uh, if there's, there's roaches, I'll use, I'm silly using a silly example, okay? If they need to get roaches in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a place is infested and they can't get to all of the, the, the places in the, so what do they do? They'll take, everyone leaves the house and they'll bomb the house. N- not a bomb bomb, they, you know, they use a, a, you know, a pesticide bomb. And then the bomb will get into all of the nooks and crannies. Make sense? Mm-hmm. And that'll be able to clean up the whole problem. Makes, does that, yeah. does, so too is this is what the Rebbe explains. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, I'm using a, a, the, the only thing that I can, I'm thinking of something yeah. that I can Marshall. use to explain it, right? Marshall. The muscle yeah. for the nimshal, right. So, so the tikkunak kloli is that. The tikkunak mm-hmm. kloli is that bomb. Mm-hmm. It's a bomb that covers everything. It's all inclusive. So whatever happened, it can clean it up. And why is that? Why is the tikkun not clearly? So the, so the Rebbe explains that, that why is that? Because, you know, really, what was the first, the first Averis that happened? What was it? Was Adam and, uh, Adam, Adam and the Nachash, right? And Chava and the Nachash, right? But what was the Nachash? What did the Nachash really want? The Nachash wanted Chava. The Nachash wanted Chava for, for himself, right? And we know that the Zaya says that the Nachash placed his impurity in Chava. We know all of these things. So really, all sin stemmed from there. All sin. And that's why, that's why, when it comes to, when it comes to all sins, the 365 different sins, this 365 Laisa says, is really all connected to the Tikkun HaKloli. Because that's the stem of where it came from. And that's why that can fix all the other problems. Does that make any sense? Mm-hmm. There's any questions? Or can I explain it more? You have a question? Mm-hmm. What? So far, bro. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to put this together. Right? Bechinas mm-hmm. bris. Okay, we know the bris kaidish, right? The bris... The bris kodesh, right? The, 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 the circumcision, the bris, to keep it sanctified. When you have that sanctified, the Rebbe explains, so everything else will go well. Because then you have a clear mind. What confuses a person the most? When it comes to things of impurity, it confuses a person's mind the most. But if he can set, so to say, keep himself uh, sexually pure, okay? That will set him on the right path to be able to do everything the proper way. Bris. Bechines keneshe He uses the example the same way when you have the nesha, which is the eagle, is over the kinai. It's over, it hovers over, it stays over <laughs> its nest. Right? So the tikkuna kalali is the thing that's over all of the loisases, why is he say Nesher? Watch this. So that's how it, when, when you do this, when you do this, and that's what the Rebbe explains in, in 20, Lesson 29. When you can keep the Tikkun HaKlo, when you have the Tikkun HaKloli, and you have the purity, so that causes a whitening, a whitening of the Shas HaGidim. It whitens them. It cleans them. It doesn't keep them red. It doesn't keep them uh, 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 discolored. It doesn't keep them in a, as a dam nida. It can actually purify it, which means the shechin up on high 
is also purified because my sin causes the problem with the Shekhinah up on high. But when I can clean myself up down here, so I also help the Shekhinah up on high. We don't realize how, what an effect the things that we do in this world has in the upper world. It's amazing. Unbelievable. In Islam and Avonis, for im yiyu chateichem, kashonim kasheleg yalbinu. If your sins will be so many, so many, oh, you have a lot of sins. I'll whiten them like, like snow. And if they'll be red, if they'll be red, I'll make them white. Like tzema, like, like wool, like clean wool, fresh wool, virgin wool. I'll make it white. Okay, let's go on now. We're going to see now this, how it pertains to the lesson. So now we have that little preview, okay? This is an idea of tzitzis. You have to watch your clothing very well. So that way the chitzayinim the external forces shouldn't attack the begotten. Because again, the beged is the outer surface, right? That's what, that's what people see. That's what people, that's what is connected to the world. The beged, your clothing. So you want to keep it from the, from the chitzayin and the external forces attaching itself to the begotten. But we, but we learned, if you remember, but if you remember, we learned really the external forces, we want to keep them out of our mind. Remember last lesson? We want to keep our eyes focused. And that's what the tzitzis is. Helps us keep our eyes focused so we don't let the chitzaydim get into the seichel. Because again, every time we say beged, we're really talking about the, the, our physical begotten, but we're also talking about our mayach. That's the real beged that we're worried about. Uh, um, um, mind, the mind, mind, mind. The mind. We don't want to let the external forces enter into our mind. Because it's their way to get in through the big beggar. Because they can't get to the goof. The goof is closed. The goof is covered by the beggar. So they attach themselves to the big They get on to the big Okay. Come on, Rabbi Nuzal, in Brachas. How money the Rabbanon, the Volu, Manayu. What is the thing that with the, 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 the things of the Rabbanim that they attached? Okay, Kiheim, Madrega Tachtoina Vachitsaina Shel Kedusha. Because we said that Malchus, we know, is the lowest of the realm of all of the, the spheres, right? The Malchus is the lowest. And we said that Malchus is also the Beget, right? As Sasha, remember, yeah. we said that Malchus is the Beget. And it's the lowest realm. It's all in, it's covered. Exactly. Visham Dark and the And that's what the, that's the way that they attack to the lowest thing. Cause that's the, the closest thing to them is the beggar. So that's where they'll attack. Valkani Karim, Vinishamim Baham, Kala Begamim. And therefore, therefore, all of the, all of the, 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 the pagamim that a person makes is recognized and near Shem, it's, it's, so to say, inscribed on the beged. It's inscribed in the beged. Shel kol avoynais, chas v'shalom of all the avoynais. And that's why when a person gets a stain on their garment, really, what is the stain? It's showing, hey, buddy, you just made a mistake. You have something you have to fix. Who would have ever thought of that? Who would have ever thought of that? Mm. You get a spot on your shirt. No, 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 no. You get a spot on your shirt. That's because you have a problem. Mm. It's near Shem on your baguette. The spot. It pops up. Ah, wow. Mm. And it works, of course, the other way. Kala mitzvahs. Well, does of course you know every time you know Hakadosh Baruch makes zel zel asal likim zuluma zel zuluma zel asal likim Hashem makes everything balanced. So of course, if the aver is going to be written, of course the mitzvahs will be there as well. 
Through mitzvahs, you make a, a, a rabbinic garment. You make a rabbinical garment. You make a garment that's fit for tefillah. You make a garment that's wonderful. You, what's it? You have a question, Sasha? No, I'm Levushim v'kisusim la'neshama sheloyis yachsu boy. So those are those are levushim and kisusim. These are these are garments and cloaks, right? That the neshama has to protect the neshama because again they're mitzvahs that are that are the person's using his garments for mitzvahs. He's using his his his, his external things all for mitzvahs. Hmm. Because when a person's clothing is clean, it's a tremendous shmira for the person. Who would have ever thought of that? Huh? You have clean garments, that's a shmira. That's a shmira, that's a protection. It's a big, big protection. The Rebbe brings it in lesson 127. So therefore, be very, very careful to watch your garments Keep your garments clean. Keep your garments away from the external forces, which means keep your mind clean. Keep the mind away from the external forces. And therefore the Torah commands us to wear tzitzis. Shame to Luyim Babagodim. You can't wear tzitzis if you don't have a beggar, right? You need a, you need a garment. You can't, put, you can't hang the tzitzis on your table. You can't hang your tzitzis on your chair. Your tzitzis go on a beggar. That's what the Torah says. When we have a beggar, we put the tzitzis on it. Ki tzitzis heim shmir el Ah, how are we going to get a protection for your begadim? By having the tzitzis. By having tzitzis. Tzitzis is the shmir. Shalai is also be'am a chitzenim. That the chitzenim can't attack you from the outside thing. How do you do it? Through tzitzis. By days and nishma kola teira kule, and through there you can keep the teira, and that's why it says when you look at Risa Meisir is chartem is kol mitzvah is Hashem, right? With tzitzis, remember the mitzvahs of Hashem. Hey mitzvahs asay, hey mitzvahs leis asay to do the mitzvahs, the two hundred forty eight positive commandments, or to stay away from the three hundred sixty five. Leis says ki bahem nirshem hakol because on the begodim everything is written. Everything is 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 uh, recorded. Now it says, Like I just quoted, the Rebbe says, the Rebbe Nassim writes here, because through the tzitzis a person's mind is elevated. This is the part. This is the main part of the lesson. Through the tzitzis, a person's mind is elevated. How is it elevated? Because you see the tzitzis. <laughs> you see that you can remember the mitzvahs of Hashem. And that's what brings the whiteness, which is the, clean, which is the cleansing of the damnid that we mentioned before. How do you bring, how do you, how do you clean up the, the, the rupture that was in one of the blood vessels that we said is connected to the 365 negative commandments? Each of the 365 blood vessels is connected to another one of the 365 uh, uh, negative commandments, right? The negative commandments. So if, and if you, if a person does one of those things, he causes that rupture. But when he does, when he looks at the tzitzis, and it reminds him to do tshuva, because that's another mitzvah. Mitzvah, tshuva is a mitzvah. And he does tshuva, he does tshuva, so then that can clean up the redness, the rupture, cause, which caused the damnid, which caused the shkina kadesh to be separated from Hashem via the tzitzah, seeing them. Bechol eis yibagadecha levanim. All the times that the Shlema Melech writes in Kehelas that all the times your garment should be clean. Clean. Bigidecha daika. Your 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 uh your your uh your your, your blood vessels. Your your begod begidem. He writes begadecha, but look at the play on words, huh? You like that, 
have to look at that again, right? <laughs> Because tzitzis is an aspect of tikkun aklali. Who would have ever known tzitzis is a tikkun aklali? Why? Because the same way the tikkun aklali is that bomb we said that can clean up all of the things and everything. It gets into all of the nooks and crannies and all of the nuances of all of the different things. So too tzitzis. Mm. It has that same that same idea. That the tzitzis has the idea, the same thing, that it's, it is also a tikkun akloli. The same way that the nesha sits over the, uh, over the entire kina, the, 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 uh, the nest, the, the eagle sits over the nest the same way, the same way that tzitzis sits over the body, sits over the body, and it can cause the same rectification. Mishra darucha. Nishra, the 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 the, um, uh, uh, the eagle, the nishra, the rucha, nishra, the eagle is is the ruach, ruach. Vezeh bechinas tzitzis bechinas mayaba rucha is boyi a ruach. The Navi Yecheskel says, from the four mayaba rucha is boyi a ruach. From the four, from the four corners, from the four ruchais, the four, the four, uh, uh, the directions, right? The four directions comes comes ruach. Shehem bechinas arba tzitzis, all connected to the tzitzis. Ruach kinesher kinar bigedeich, like David Amela, like Shleim Amela, from bechol eshi begadecha levanim. Don't read it begadecha. Rather read it begideich, like we said. Kamei shekasev Rabbeinu Zal in Simin Ches, lesson eight. Oh, that's the lesson on Hanukkah. Wow, the Rebbe says over there. Wow, wow. Lesson Ches is such a beautiful lesson. Also, we we where a person can give a krechs. You give a krechs. Oh, you give a krechs, and that can get to. To the highest place to fix things. Vizesha kasa rabbeinu. It's why it's connected to this. Vizesha kasa rabbeinu. She tzitzis heim shmira leniyaf. Ah, look at this. Tzitzis is a shmira to niyaf for promiscuity. For 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 for. for Vizesh shamer by saying as abachol eis yibar gadecha levanim. Zet tzitzis. Tzitzis will help the person that he can stay away from the 365 negative commandments. That's what tzitzis has, that, 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 that a beautiful ability. The kanfei at tzitzis, heim bechines kanfei nishar. And the kanfei at tzitzis, the wings, so to say, the wings of the tzitzis, the four strings of the four corners, is the same as the kanfei nishar, are the wings of the nesha, which is ruach. The same way the, the the eagle spreads its wings, they're huge. It covers over the kina, and it can cover up the, and it can clean everything, and it keeps everything protected. So too, the tzitzis has that same protection. You like that? Tzitzis has the same protection mm. as an eagle protects its little its little fledglings. Bechinas esrem al kanfei Oh, we're waiting for that. HaKadosh Baruch Hu will pick us up on eagle's wings. Akan fein esharam. Mashiach, Mashiach. Ah. By the yoda meir ha-moichin, and through that the mayach, the mayach is, is illuminated. V'nimshach mayam livnunis el ha-shasa gidim. And that's what brings the whitening to the shasa gidim. So now I think we understand a little bit what the Shasa Gidim are now, how it contains for tzitzis. Little understanding. You have any questions? No Do you have any questions? Any questions? Well, um, Please. Before we said, so the the cleanness of the begodim, no, this mainly refers to the mind. Yes, to the, the mind. But it's also the begodim. Uh, also the, begodim. the begodim. So like the. Someone who's clean, like wears clean clothes, is really different to someone who is like dirty. Like so, someone who's like a, a shlum, yeah, a shlumazel. So he can get into trouble like much, quicker, much easier, much easier, much than easier than to get into trouble. Yeah, someone dressed like nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, this farm also bring that. I remember learning that you know, like for example, if you go into a person's home 
and it's clean, mm-hmm. so then that's in that person's life, he has more seder in his life as well. Unbelievable. Where if you go into a house and everything's in up and upheaval, and if you look at that person's life, that person is also is everything in his life is in upheaval as well. It's all connected. So if you, so we're learning here, if you keep your garments clean, which is connected begadecha is bigideh, bigideh, which is your 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 blood vessels, which is the three sixty five, which means it'll keep you away from doing any of the the lavin the the the, the three hundred sixty five negative commandments, which means you you cause the shechina to be to 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 have a whitening where it's not red. The shechin up on the eye, which means it can be connected to the rabbinus. That's what it means. I want to connect that kaddish baruch back with the shechina because I made a mistake. I did something wrong. One of the three hundred sixty-five lav, and I made a mistake, so I caused a rupture, and I caused the shechina then to separate from a kaddish baruch wow. But when I could put on my tzitzis and I recognize the tachlis. And I recognize how tzitzis is the kanfein, the sharem. It's the covering. And it's the tikkun haklali. It's the same idea as the tikkun haklali. It helps me in, a, in an all-inclusive way. How it's in an all-inclusive way. So then I can also bring a whitening to myself. I can bring a whitening to the shechina up on high. And with that, we'll, we'll leave it over there. Any, mm-hmm. Anything? I, well, good? Bedechilu or rechimu? Rechimu is like a rechem. No, 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 yeah, no, no, but the, no, 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 but the chilu is fear, but the rechimu is, is, is also, is also, is, is, uh, love. But the chilu yeah. rechimu, love and fear. Yeah, no, I'm uh, saying the rechimu is, yeah, is also, connected to rechim. Yeah, no, so but that, that's an Aramaic, is, is, is like Rachmanis. Right. Is, 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 is really, it's a hava, is, 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 is a yira and, and a hava. Mm-hmm. I want to connect the Kosmos with a hava Hashem and yira Hashem. Mm-hmm. Yiras Hashem and Havas Hashem, Havas Hashem and Yiras Hashem. But if you notice, it says Yiras Hashem first, because you can only have Yiras, Havas Hashem if you have Yiras Hashem. Okay, Shkoyach, everybody. Wow.